Hello everyone, I have some really exciting news for you. Starting right now, you will have access to our brand new and advanced promotion system. It's so customizable, you can make Pluto work however way you want. I'm now going to show you a quick overview of what we've been working on with the permission system and what's new. So this is my test dashboard. And from the settings tab, from the settings menu right here in your main menu, click on settings, then click on permissions. And this will then give you three different options, client, contractor, and teammate. So you can customize the level of access that each of these three different roles has. Let's start with the, with the, with the teammate. With a teammate, you can, you will find a default teammate rule, which we've set their permissions by default and that you can change by just switching like this. There are tons of rules that you can change from being able to view files, uploading files, deleting files to creating conversations, viewing invoices, deleting invoices or creating invoices, viewing all projects or some of the projects that they only assigned to in the brief, the client, you know, it just, it's extremely customizable. So go ahead and give it, you know, give it a go, see how, how you can make it fit your own needs. And what is really cool about the teammate permission section is that you can create as many custom rules as you want for your teammates. So that can be developer, an accountant, uh, you know, a project manager, whoever you want. And you can easily assign these rules or change the rules to anyone in your team at any time. Just imagine the possibilities. Now I'm going to go back and click on client. And here I can choose what my client can do, can see, and can't do or see. And it is, as you can see, it's just extremely customizable. So deep, it goes down to the task, from the task boards to task groups to task. And it, you know, you can do it for your invoices, for the activities, for the calendar, for anything in Plutio. Now I'm going to go back. So that's how you can create um, new custom rules for your teammates and customize the default um, permission settings for your clients and contractors. But that's not it. So let me show you something more. If you go to projects and let's say click on any of these projects, let's click on cupcake shop. Oh, okay, that's the wrong project. Let's click on something with tasks in it. Um, there we go, something that is, that is like that. So let's create a new task called test1. I'm going to remove the filters. So right here, if you hover over the task board, you will see a new um, option called permissions. If you click on it, you will see all the contributors within that project. And then you can choose any of these contributors to change their permissions to that specific task board. So you can choose that this person can view this task board and can create task, task groups within it. Or you can switch that off so they can only view it and not create any task groups. But also, you can do the same for the, for the actual task group. So if you click on permissions on the task group, it's the same thing, click on somebody, and then it gives you the option to allow them to add tasks inside that task group or not, view it or not, etc. And for tasks, you can make them private. So if you hover over the task from right here, click make private. Now this task will become private only to you. No one else will see the task, no, no, no matter what the default permission settings are. And you will see this little icon right here with the lock that basically indicates that this task is private only to you. However, if you delegate this task to anyone, they will also be able to see that task. Now, this is not it. <laughs> So we also have permissions per project. So you can, you can customize the permissions per project as well. So if you hover over the top right here on options and click on permissions, it will open something similar. So you click on any of the people who are contributors in that project, and then you can customize their permissions to that specific project, as you can see right here. Um, we also added a, a little feature here which allows you to copy whatever permissions you've set for this specific project to any other project. So let's say you created a project template and you know you've set up however permissions you want it to, to, to have. So um, once that is done, you know you customize all permissions and all good to go. 
you can save it and keep it. And next time you create a new project and you want the same permissions, you can just go ahead and copy these permissions to that other project, just like that. Well, this is the new permission system. Um, it is, as you can see, extremely customizable, and we really hope this will basically, you know, take your workflow to the next level, help you really customize Putio to work the way you work and your team work. So if you, you know, just give it, give it a go. If you have any issues with it, just let us know because it's still in beta, so just bear that in mind. It's still in beta, so you might experiencing, you might experience, you know, an expected behavior. And if you do, don't forget to report it to us via the live chat. And for, for those um, who don't know where the live chat has gone, you can reach us from the support. So if you click on support right here, click I have a question or I found a bug, and then you can start a chat with us from here. So we actually removed it from the corner and we added it to support. So we try and answer your questions using our help center and if not, you can just reach us directly from there. Well, I hope you know this, this quick overview is helpful. But again, if you have any questions, just post it in the comments and we will do our best to help. Enjoy the new permission system. And I can't wait to see how you guys are going to use it and can't wait to hear your feedback. Bye for now.